Okay guys, quality's going to be a little bit on the piss poor side. Saturday night, we're doing a, a food run for the restaurant. Things are running low. And instead of going over the evening markets like we usually do, we're going into the Lao Aussie market. So I thought I'd show you what that's like of a night. I don't think I've ever shown you of a night what that's like. Righto guys, maybe there was a reason you haven't seen it at night. The, the light is very poor and with just the GoPro it is piss poor quality. So, uh, we're just here for uh, seafood mainly. Uh, walk into where it's a bit lit up. This is all the meat section. You can see the meat doesn't um, they're usually closed up, but there's a, there's a couple of pork sellers over here. You can get something of everything. It's just not as busy as it is later on from around 4 a.m. ish. It's 7, just after 7.30 now. All your inter-provincial fruit growers and that. It's the aisle. It does look different at night, but doesn't it? A lot different. Only a quick run. So I'll be tacking this on to another video, I think, unless it turns into its own video like they used to do. But a lot of the, um, the veggie people are still here, 24-7. very busy section this of a night isn't it of them setting up mainly that's what i mean by busy compared to the permanent stall sellers a lot of dark areas so i'll probably be editing those out guys What is different? I'll show you. There's a few street food vendors that are that set up in this. You've often seen us get a car park along here, just close to these cafes and that at any bit of an evening, where street food vendors do set up to feed the people here of a night because a lot of these permanent cafes they do have to go home at some time so it's usually when these street food vendors come in and set up some nice desserts there fish people in through there there's our seafood people there a lot of these people I see here at 7.30 a.m. of the morning it's 7.30 p.m. now and they're still here but very quiet in through here the, these are the people who usually feed all the um, sellers and vendors of a day Hence the reason of having these um, extra ones that just show up of a night.
still a busy little place. And like I said, this is open 24-7. You can just come in here and you'll find something of whatever you want to buy open. Granted, not as many beef pork sellers at this time of day, but there are some. And they see the girl and the husband that we get a lot of our vegetables off over the morning. Wow, that Hello, Sabadi. <laughs> Hello. You must live here, do you? You're always here. <laughs> yeah. I didn't think I would see you. <laughs> Very nice couple, eh? And this is um, all the dry, what I call the dry food goods, sauces, toilet papers, paint, towels, things like that. And a lot of them closed up, but as you can see over the back here, there are some open. Uh, this is just how they lock them up. Typical of Southeast Asia, just to cut the tarps, rope it up, that's it, all the stuff is locked away. Yeah, very quiet over in this section. So this pork and that must be killed later on in the afternoon for these people to be here. And it's usually along here of the morning. You've got all the fish people on either side. That's what we're missing. That's why it looks different. Yeah. Okay, guys. It's probably why I've never shown you before because of the poor lighting here. here. And in a place like this, I don't carry the Canon G7X. It's just too big. Very unprofessional of me, I know, but that's just the way I work. Minimalist. <laughs> 